It's 80 degrees and sunny. Spring is almost over and summer's on the way. It's the perfect day for the... I'm strong on spring challenge! Let's do this. I wanted to go and try every awesome ice cream creation across this county, and I want to take you along for the journey. We're going to go visit eight different locations all across Armstrong County, and we are going to try items from each shop in three different categories. Category number one is the classic. Category number two is the crowd favorite. And then category number three is the craziest creation. And best of all, we have $280 worth of free ice cream that we're gonna give away to you. It's week three of the Armstrong Ice Cream Challenge. We had to travel a long distance today, all the way from the greatest city in the world up to the western greatest city in the world. We're in West Catanning tonight at Kristen's Ice Cream Corner, better known as Kick. We're rolling out the red carpet for us here. I feel like I'm famous. You can't tell, this is one of our favorite go-to places. Uh, we're definitely used to coming here. I'll try not to be biased, but uh, we're unashamed that, that we love Kick. Elizabeth's still short enough to get in the kid corner. <laughs> With an inch to spare. All right, so I'm here with Kristen and Don, the owners of Kick. Super excited to be here. You guys are unashamedly one of our favorite family ice cream places, so we're very pumped to be here. Uh, so tell us a little bit about Kick, how you came to be the owner of this place, and uh, what you guys are all about. I actually started Kick about 10 years ago. Um, I had a project for school that I did. I sat um, where Curly Tail Coffee is by 84 Lumber and I sold popsicles and it was called Kristen's Ice Cream Corner. Really? And yeah. <laughs> and um, I called it Kick. I loved to do it. I did it for three months. Like I said, it was a school project. And then whenever I graduated um, from college, I had like a big girl job down in Pittsburgh, but I was frustrated. I always said I would do Kick too. I met him then and he is all into culinary stuff. Like he loves to bake and cook and all that other stuff. So it kind of just came together. I started to write a business plan and my dad got news of it and he was excited. Yeah. So slowly we just figured out how to make ice cream then too. That wasn't even our yeah. original plan. And that's like kind of like our claim to fame now yeah. is all of the crazy stuff that we do with our hard scoop. That's so cream. cool. Yeah. yeah. I can remember we moved here 10 years ago. And so it was like the year after we moved here, you came into West Catanning and we were like, there's something new in the area. And so we've been cheering you on for nine years now. Right. So, so Don, are you like the mastermind behind the recipes or what? I can claim most of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. It just, anything you can eat and you want to eat, it can be made. Uh, he just figures out just, how to put it in. And <laughs> yeah, just, just figure it out and, and it always works out most of the time, most of the time. Yeah, you guys have had some awesome flavors over the years, so. Um, so what are we going to be uh, trying today? We need a classic, we need a crowd favorite, and then we need a crazy creation. Okay, so classic, we just went with a banana split. Oh, nice. It's gonna feature three of our hard scoop flavors, so we figured that's a perfect way to shine. Uh -huh. And then the second category is the customer favorite. We chose two of them too, okay. um, for that. So the first one is our strawberry pretzel salad pie. It sells out all of the time. We do pre-orders for Mother's Day and other events too, so we figured that was perfect. And then the second one is a double scoop cone. Uh, first is cookies and cream, which is our number one flavor. Okay. And then the second flavor is our salted caramel coffee. Awesome. Okay. And then finally, <laughs> the craziest creation, uh -huh. which you guys might despise us a little bit, but we've done it before in the past and actually separate, sold. Separate times. Separate times, yeah, yeah but separate. we put it, well, it's gonna we be a double scoop. Uh -huh. So it's uh, 
pizza, ice cream. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and ranch ice cream. Pizza <laughs> so, and ranch. Pizza and ranch, yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. So we're going really pizza. crazy. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I actually love pizza and ranch, that's, personally. That's, so. that's even better. So I'm pumped about it. I love trying new things, and that is, uh, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. So. Is that going to be on the menu for everyone to buy? No. Okay. No. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So just, just like one of the crazy things that we can okay. do. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just kind of like highlighting that. So, <laughs> but if we love it and we get enough people to ask hey. for it. Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like, I like it. I said that we should serve the ranch on like hot buffalo wings at Mills or something. So. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, how, how can people follow you? Like what's the best way to keep up with what's going on at Kick? Instagram and Facebook. Our Instagram is Kick724 and then Facebook's just Kristen's Ice Cream Corner. Very cool. I'll put those links in the description. Any other specials you got going on or like any, anything else you want to mention? Keep an eye on Facebook. That's our daily updated yeah. source. So yeah. flavors, specials, deals, you know, any and anything if, coming up. And if ever you have like a fun creation and you wanna like come to us with oh, it, yeah. like a flavor, like we're always accepting like ideas. We love that. So okay. it's like the best part. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Well, um, I will just mention too, if you guys, if you like own a small business or if you are uh, follow other small businesses in town, you want to see how to do social media well, I would say follow these guys. Make sure to click on the links in the description, both Facebook and Instagram. They put out really awesome pictures and they're just um, good at social media marketing. So I appreciate that about you guys. I'm, a, I'm obviously a little bit into social media myself. <laughs> so let's try some ice cream. Let's do it. All right, so this is quite a uh, <laughs> this is quite a classic. But we have all of their hard scoop flavors, and Kick they pride themselves on home making all of their hard scoop ice cream. Now soft serve is similar between different places, and there's the subtle differences obviously between. But uh, the hard scoop there's a, a big difference between shop to shop, and they make some really good hard scoop ice cream. I've had the strawberry, I believe, never had the double chocolate, and we have their vanilla here as well with all kinds of different toppings. So. Let's give it a go. All right, so first the strawberry with the pineapple. Sorry, I'm dealing with children here as well. Okay, so the strawberry is, is probably my favorite strawberry ice cream that I've ever had. But with the pineapple, it adds like a little uh, tropical kick. I really, really like it. All right, we got double chocolate with the strawberry here. Wow, the chocolate is really rich. And the, stra the strawberry is like very, very subtle with it. Let me get another, another try here. I'm like fighting the children for bites. Mm. That would be a good Sunday, just in and of itself would be the chocolate covered in strawberry sauce and then the, some whipped cream and nuts, that'd be perfect. Okay, here's the last one. Vanilla, chocolate, a little bit of peanuts too. I'm not sure that I've ever had the plain vanilla either. You know, I go for the more exotic flavors, but I'd just try it. Ice cream. It's just like perfect in every way. Hard ice cream just always is just like a, a notch above soft serve for me. And this is just, everything they do here is so well done. Looks like a war zone here with these vultures. <laughs> I feel like they kind of like it. You guys kind of like it? We love it. <laughs> I love it. Poor mom's down at the end. Got one bite. Let's just scoot this down the table. There we go. All right, so we got the customer favorite here. We got salted caramel on the top and the cookies and cream on the bottom, which is their number one uh, best seller. And so um, I'm gonna try them separately and try them together. Oreo cookies are basically my favorite thing in the world. Um, if you go to Living Water Church, you already knew that. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try this one first, salted caramel. Is it caramel favorite? Is it caramel favorite? Wow, okay. This is like, straight up toffee flavor. It is incredible. 
It's really rich. It's kind of like melty because the salt doesn't allow it to freeze as hard. So you get a nice, uh, really nice texture to it as well. Wow. Okay, cookies and cream on the bottom. Mm. It really does taste like the uh, cream in the middle of the Oreo cookie. And you have like, do you see how much cookie pieces they put in their hard scoop ice cream? It is absolutely jam packed with good stuff. All right, let's do salted caramel and cookies and cream. Try to get it in one bite. See if we can handle that. Oh yeah. It almost has like a, sorry, I gotta do one more. Wow. So together, excuse my mess. Together, it makes like this really amazing flavor. It's difficult to describe together, but it's really amazing. Just like a really rich caramel iced mocha or something. Like it's really, it's wonderful. All right, I gotta stop because I'll eat this whole thing. <clears throat> if you have a chance to get this combination, salted caramel and cookies and cream, try it. All right, so this is the strawberry pretzel salad. Um, they sell out of this every time they get it. It's, they make it in like a whole pie. So we're just gonna try a piece of it here. Elizabeth's not doing much chocolate lately, so this is her game. Let's give it a go. It also gives us a nice point of comparison between Wid Noon and here, because um, they had the strawberry pretzel salad Sunday, which was great. This is in a pie form here. Let's give it a go. Got like a nice graham cracker crust on there too. Any thoughts? It's really good. Yeah, Wood suggests. These guys ate their piece in like uh, 30 seconds, so they want more. <laughs> All right, so I was trying to place, like why is this different than the normal strawberry ice cream? It actually, and you're probably not gonna be able to see it. They put pretzels on top, obviously, but there's pretzel pieces in the actual ice cream. It's giving it a little bit different texture, a little bit different flavor, but it is really, um, it's really yummy. Yet another improvement on the uh, strawberry pretzel salad from Church Potluck. Very good. Okay, that was quite a lot of ice cream already. Still have the craziest creation though, the pizza ice cream. It's like we had dessert first, now we're gonna have like some kind of weird take on dinner? I don't know. All right, here's the craziest creation. I'm excited and terrified. Pizza ice cream. With and ranch ice cream. Now I like pizza and ranch generally, so um, and I love trying new things. This is crazy unique. Uh, they also gave us some mango smoothie to wash it down. Uh, they do have two non-dairy options normally all the time. Uh, they they alternate between five different flavors of the fruit non-dairy, and then sometimes they have scoopable non-dairy as well, like coconut and other flavors. So make sure you check out their social media to keep up with that but we gotta try this this craziness right now. I, I'm just like debating in my head, do I try them separately first or together first? I'm gonna go separate and then together. Let's, let's see what we got. Big bite, pizza ice cream. Wow. It's really different. I mean, you'd think like maybe sweet, sweetness to it. It's not, but it is really creamy, really rich. And you get a lot of the, like the spices that you'd normally have in a sauce. Like I taste some oregano in there. Wow. My brain isn't sure what to think right now. It's like weirdly good. It, and it does taste like pizza. I, I'm not sure how, but it does taste like pizza. So different. All right, this is ranch flavored ice cream now. I don't know if just like a mouthful of ranch is really a good thing, but we'll try it first. Okay, so this has a little more sweetness to it, and it does have just a real subtle ranch flavor. It's not like a mouthful of ranch at all. Now I think that, I think they're actually gonna be really good together. Yeah. This is legitimately one of the craziest things I've ever eaten in my whole life, not just ice cream wise, just period. There's like pieces of pizza crust in here. I don't know if you could see it or not. I'm not sure that I would ever order it, but I'm glad I got to try it. <laughs> like if you like to try different stuff, this is super cool. I don't know who would ever even think of making this, but 
Kristen's. It just shows how unique and uh, creative they are here. Ooh, almost forgot, mango smoothie. That's really good. That's a, that's a nice way to wash down some pizza ice cream. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. <laughs> It does taste like pizza, doesn't it? Do you like it or no? Yeah. <laughs> Malachi, what do you think, buddy? You like it? <laughs> wow, they actually like it. Let's see what Lily thinks. The girl who doesn't like anything. Yeah, you like it? I think their brains are tricked because they just like ice cream a whole lot. So maybe if we can just figure out how to take healthy foods Put them in ice cream form and kids will eat anything. Going for more. He ain't scared of no ranch ice cream. You like it? <laughs> Kristen, you are like a mad scientist of ice cream. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, having us. This is awesome. You have some awesome creations and uh, can't wait to see how the votes go. All right, yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, thank you. Coolest gift cards ever, by the way. What a visit to kick. We got some gift cards to give away. Let me tell you how you can win them. Okay, so two ways you can win as usual. Number one, go to GCITW, that's greatestcityintheworld.org slash ice cream challenge. Link is in the description. Hit on vote now and vote for your favorite ice cream shop in Armstrong County. Fill out your information and you'll be automatically entered to win a $25 gift card to your favorite shop. We'll also have one grand prize winner who's gonna win $10 to all eight ice cream shops so you can go on your very own Armstrong ice cream challenge. The other way you can win, share on any social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and use hashtag GCITW and hashtag Armstrong Ice Cream Challenge. You can share this video or any of the other ice cream shop videos and you'll be entered to win that way as well. A couple final notes on Kick. Every ice cream shop is trying to create value for their customers and Kick is no exception. Uh, they really shine through with their focus on quality and creativity and it just creates a different vibe. Uh, you notice in the ice cream creations today, especially like the pizza and ranch ice cream, they're not afraid to try new things. And they have a lot of different ice cream flavors in their shop through the summer months that really show those qualities. Uh, we are super appreciative that they are in Catanning. They represent the Catanning ice cream scene well, and I think they are definitely a worthy entrant into the Armstrong Ice Cream Challenge. If you haven't seen the other videos, you can feel free to go check those out, and now would be a great time to subscribe. We have three shops down five more to go and it's going to be an awesome lead up to the summer of 2021 that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it I guess we should probably check what were the what the kids favorites were I didn't realize you guys had the right shirts on today ice cream shirt ice cream shirt did you plan that Yeah. you did <laughs> I should have known what was your guys's uh, favorite thing at kick the shake the shake you both like the mango shake huh uh -huh. the non-dairy I, I like the mango thing too wow. it's the best Wow. Okay. Did you like everything else though? Um, yeah, except for the pizza. <laughs> Not a big fan of the pizza. No. Malachi, what was your favorite, buddy? His favorite was the pizza ice cream. I know. He was eating that ranch ice cream. I think that was really his favorite. Yeah. Yeah.